Usually if the product is out of stock then no add to cart button is shown and only the message out of stock is shown. And this is uh, the default WooCommerce setting. Today I'm gonna show you if the product is out of stock then automatically the contact form is shown. For example like this here. If I open up the other product which is not out of stock then as you see add to cart is shown and no contact form is visible. So let's jump in. In order to accomplish that you need to have a contact form. For example I'm using the fluent forms here. A couple of things for you to know though. I'm gonna add a new sample form. First name, last name, etc. I'm gonna delete the subject here. But since I want to know from which site or URL the inquiry is sent, I need to add a couple of fields. I'm gonna choose hidden field. And I'm gonna give a title product title. In the default value, I'm gonna add embedded post, post page title. Next, I'm gonna duplicate it and add product URL and as a def default value I'm gonna add embedded URL. Now I'm all set up. Next you need to add a short code snippet I'm gonna provide you. You have two ways to do that. First is you need to add to your child teams functions PHP and the other one is uh, I am preferring and this is using plugin called code snippet. So go to plugins, add new and search for code snippets. Now install it and activate it as I have done it. After that you have a menu snippets here, click on add new. And now add this code to the code box. Give it a title, for example, contact form if out of stock. Inside this area here, you add your own contact form short code. For example, Fluent Forms provides this here, and if you open up your form, it is also here. So I'm gonna click, and it is copied to clipboard, and I'm gonna paste it over here. Save, change, and activate. The code I'm showing you is uh, shown in the description of this video, so take a look at it later. Now, let's test it. Products, and as you see I have two out of stock products. Let's take a look. Well, there it is. To test it out I'm gonna fill the fields. Submit it. And let's see how does the email looks like. And there it is. Email from Jack Mac. Here is the product title and here is the product URL from the hidden fields. One more thing I would like to point out. Currently the contact form is placed here. You can change the placement by going to snippets and opening up the snippets you created. And this number here shows the priority. If you change it, for example, I'm gonna put here 50, save it and refresh it, then the contact form is placed below those messages here. If I change it to 10 and save it, refresh, and now it's below the price. Since I want it to be below this out of stock message here, I'm gonna insert 30 here, save it and refresh it. So far so good. Now if you like this video and find it useful then press thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. If you do that then you will be the first to be notified about the new tutorials. Meanwhile take care.